Hello and welcome to my stamina sorcerer PvP build. First, I wasn't really sure if I'm gonna make a build video, but here we are. Uh, this is more like a melee proc focused build. So, yeah, let's go right into the character screen. I'm Org. Org is one of the best races for stamina uh, builds in general. For me personally, you get the speed, you get HP, you get stamina. You get healing when you attack and you also get weapon and spell damage. So overall a really great race to have. Um, then we got all points into stamina. We still reach a decent amount of health with 31k, 27k uh, stamina and magicka is nearly 17k so overall great stats. Then we are running, for me personally I choose the Atronaut Monus for more magical sustain. You don't need it. Um, you can sustain perfectly fine without it. But I, well, I just like to spam streak more. So I went with more magical recovery. If you want more damage, you go with Warrior, for example, depending on your playstyle. We have stage 3 Vampire for the Undeath passive as usual and Buffwood doesn't show here but we are using the Ozorga Smoked Beer Haunch which will give us health, health recovery, not really important, but the stamina and magical recovery are really important since we need both of them. Um, potions are just normal tripods, health magic and stamina you could run the expensive ones uh, that also give you minor heroism instead of the uh, the HP but they are really expensive depending what uh, yeah what do you want to achieve right faster old generation will also obviously mean more damage but I don't think it's really necessary to have a high uptime since we also don't run Balog on this build uh, we don't run any poisons, so uh, we can go right into the sets. Monster sets, something new for me, which is Marzalog. Um, applies insane amount of damage, especially when the target has many negative effects on them. And with that build, we do apply a lot of negative effects, so we can amplify Marzalog damage a lot. I got one medium shoulder, one heavy helmet, two times medium impact would probably be the best, but those are just the ones I have, both with the prismatic enchant and you are good to go. Our f five piece set is Dragon's Appetite, uh, since we have a bleed skill from a uh, dual wield skill, Appetite is a really great choice. You've got a double bar, you get one time weapon and spell damage, which is great. Two times stamina recovery, which is overall mega good to have. And every target that is bleeding, we have an increased damage to them by 225. What that means is that every damage we do, be it light attack, be it our curse, be it our dots, our status effects, every damage instance gets buffed by 225. And since we do have so many dots running, this is high amount of additional pressure. So Dragon's Appetite, really great for damage. It's like Drogakin, but a little bit less. But for Dragon's Appetite, you also get a heal, right? You gain stacks when you deal non-bleed damage to enemies that are bleeding. And when you reach 10 stacks, you consume Dragon's Appetite, so basically you consume the stacks and you get a heal. 11k here is the tooltip, scales of your stamina, and we do have quite good stamina with 27k, so the heal is great from Dragon's Appetite. I got 3 heavy, all in reinforced, prismatic enchant, 1 light and well fitted. And one medium and well fitted, also prismatic enchanted. All. Then for jewelry, we got two times Ring of the Trainee for the health and for the magicka, both in Bloodthirsty. We don't have an execute, so Bloodthirsty here comes in really handy. And we also have the Sea Serpent's Coil in Bloodthirsty. 
we are running all weapons by damage and chance and we got all on magicka recovery then back bar we are running the veteran ice staff we have elemental sauce on our back bar i hate that word but you know what skill i mean it applies major breach plus three status effect which is burning concussion and chilled and um with veteran and fur uh, ice death here we get an additional beam that deals damage over time gets stronger the longer it runs um and on front bar we got the master's dual wield here i only have swords can't be asked with that roleplay dungeon anymore and um you actually want maces you want to go one learn one charged since i have swords i go one sharped one charged we are running flame damage and we are running poison damage with the charge we have a really high uptime also on additional uh, status effects here for example from poison we don't run an absorb stamina glove because one of our skills for example bound our maimings will proc minor uh, breach quite reliable which is the thunder status effect uh yeah those are the sets coming to our skills front bar we are using blood craze you can go the other morph rending slashes that will deal more damage on the initial tar on the initial hit and also apply the snare plus the um uh, bleed status effect but with one charge you have a really high chance to proc the status effect anyway so i went with blood craze to get initial healing you are kind of squishy on the build so you need to utilize mobility for your defense in this case um you get enough additional heal from blood craze and you can apply it to multiple people right then we got bound our maimens um each time you light attack you get a dagger on your head and maximum is four so when you got four damage daggers you can shoot them they deal physical damage also while it's slotted on our front bar we get increased max stamina and while it's active we also get more hp then we got streak or mobility and stun skill camo hunter for the major savagery some additional weapon damage front bar and also we gain um, minor berserk but minor berserk isn't really that big of a deal since we already have it mainly it's for the additional crit chance here on our front bar critical search this is our um source of major brutality and we also get healing when we crit then i got the dual weird of thriving chaos it's nice for additional damage but you can also go with dawnbreaker dawnbreaker is a nice stun to have also good damage the both both are fine right back bar we got dark deal our stamina sustain also small burst here plus we get the minor berserk plus minor force they changed it recently really great now then we got haunting curse delayed burst damage really nice elemental sus for the major breach and for the status effect as i already told you Resolving Vigor the heal over time plus our sort of minor resolve. Hurricane, AoE damage, major resolve, and also minor uh what's called minor expedition for exp uh, additional 15% movement speed and temporary guard for the minor protection on back bar. You can also go probably play negate and group, uh whatever you prefer in that case. Coming to champion points, green ones really quick, rational steeds blessing, gifted rider and war mount, then the blue ones. I got ironclad, focus mending, cleansing, revival, and deadly aim. We are using three defensive sets since we are pretty squishy, and with all that proc pressure we have, we don't need much more damage in this in this case. So um, I went with three defensive and one offensive. Cleansing Revival is nice, especially in Citadel when you get hit by sieges. You have the chance that it procs and removes all of the negative effects. And as far as I can tell, currently it's blocked 
and it doesn't really um, proc when you're only under 25% health, it procs at every percentage of HP. So, uh, yeah, just abuse it a little bit. Um, and red ones because the usual ones Pain's Refuge, Sustain by Suffering, Relentlessness, and Celerity. That's basically about the build. It's the strongest in BGs. Cyril is works it as well, but currently the most fun I have with that build is in BGs. You just shred people, they just explode the moment you basically just look at them. And uh, yeah, have fun with that.